All right. Here we go, here we go. Happy Tolkien Reading Day, everybody. Welcome to Nerd of the Rings. We've got a fun stream today. I've got a couple of my friends joining joining us today. We've got Men of the West, as well as uh, Zalin from Voice of the Rings. I appreciate you bearing with me here because... Yeah, streaming can be tough sometimes, you know, especially when you're dealing with gaming stuff, when you don't usually do a lot of gaming stuff, but I'm getting better. How's everybody's Tolkien reading day going? Did you do some reading? I hope. Well, today, obviously, we've got a uh, charity stream going on. So, in lieu of any super chats, no super chats today, folks, we're doing a fundraiser for Save the Children, which uh, helps kids in rough situations throughout the world. Um, obviously, right now, the Ukraine is one of those areas that's got uh, a lot of things going on and not a great situation for kids. So, that is our charity for today, as selected by the members of the Tolkien YouTube community. Um, be sure to, if you haven't already, maybe later after this stream, we can, uh, you should go out and watch some of the other Tolkien Reading Day playlist. I'm going to go ahead and get jumped so in. We Here we go. Nice. All right. Hey. 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 <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> so here we go. We've got, we've got Yoisten and Zalin. What's up? Everybody, you know, you know Matt, Nerd of the Rings, our most yeah. famousest of <laughs> Lord yes. of the Rings YouTube the channels. Epic. I don't, I don't know history. about famousest. That, that's pretty bold. <laughs> Yoisten's, pretty Yoisten's been around the block for a while. Oh, like... Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. uh, Voice of the Rings, up and coming Lord of the Rings online YouTuber. He's, yeah. he's the guy to go to if everything Lord of the Rings. Online. He answers all my yes. questions when I t randomly message him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I do all sorts of Lord of the Rings stuff, but I definitely, Lotro is my main content. <laughs> it's basically <laughs> my, if I was a painter, it'd be my canvas. I do everything through it. Usually. Very nice. I've been doing a lot of Rise to War, too, with a lot of the Nerd of the Rings Patreons, actually. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, good. A, lot of your, a lot of your Patreons. Yeah, really they do. That. Yeah. See, I, I played it for a little bit, but I had to stop because it was one of those where I would spend way too much time in it. And I was like, yeah. this isn't helping it me get videos done. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> oh man, exactly. So, where did where did we can? Go? He's gonna make me cry. We can. Uh, I know. We can. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I I get booted out whenever oh, I'm doing these. Like with. Oh, the ring of power. He put the ring of power on. No. Yeah. Take it off. So we could. I guess we can all uh, kind of pull in questions from our respective uh, chats and stuff. I had uh, someone someone on my chat asked, who's your favorite dwarf? Which is a good, Whoa. considering you've got two guys know. here that are pretty big on dwarves, especially. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good one. It's really hard for me to answer that question. This is it's like <laughs> when you're sitting at a restaurant and it's like, ooh, who's ordering first? Let Make me go last. <laughs> Let me think. All right, All right. <laughs> okay. Um... Just fly off the top of my head. I mean, I I love Gimli. I know that's a real generic answer. That is a pretty Gimli's generic answer. Too. I really like <laughs> Dane too. I really uh, like Dane. If you're gonna like Thorin's company, mm -hmm. um, I, I I love how they betray Biffer, right? Yeah. But uh, I really like his character in the Hobbit movies. Mm. But oh man, Balin is really Balin is a big one. I really like Balin. He's yeah, cool. he's he's, he's really good in the movies. Too. I would so book mm -hmm. book wise. I mean, Gimli's a pretty you know, like, how can you not love Gimli? He's the one that gets yeah. the most uh, screen you know time, not it. screen time, but, you know, book time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Aside from that, I would say uh, Dane, though, because he's got that red axe. He kills Azog and <laughs> and helps uh, defeat Balg. Like, dude. Yeah. 
dude and they they go into that in the lord of the rings online like we're doing that right yeah. now what so that's the story nice yeah, they have the red axe and everything so dude i freaking love country. the red axe that's what i that's oh. the collectible that doesn't exist that i want is Dane. the red axe of dane oh. ironfoot we should like get a hold of Lotro and be like, you guys should. Yeah. Make it. Get <laughs> the version from the let's game. Let's get let's get Lotro and United Cutlery on a conference call together Ooh, oh, and yes. say, let's do make it. this happen. Do it. <laughs> um, so I'd say for me, my favorite dwarf. So yeah, again, Gimli is the common answer. I would say yeah. because he's an elf friend though, um, because oh. like I'm I'm a big philosopher kind of guy, and of the dwarves, Gimli seems to be the most like philosophical dwarf. I'm trying yeah. to think, like. Mm -hmm. um i mean you know, it, it, yeah yeah it's it's hard to like some of the first age dwarves like me and my, you know i'll be honest it's like it's hard to hard to like those dwarves for some of the things that they did uh yeah. but was it yeah mahal who built oh, no, no no mahal was Aule. who who built um the dragon helm was that azagal azag no azagal was the one who was killed by oh, glaurung right. yeah yeah um mm -hmm. ah shoot it's the same guy that did Narsil. Tel yeah, Telcar. Yes. Oh. Telcar. Telcar. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> I, well, I, I'm not going to say he's my favorite because I couldn't think of his name for like five minutes, but <laughs> I like that. That's guy. what you guys are the lore masters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, so shout out yeah. to a couple shout outs. We've got some donations rolling in. Just wanted to say shout out to Angel and shout out to Anonymous, each given $20 oh, to God. save the children. So thank Very you good. so good job, much. Guys. All right. We so what do are we do doing? So what are we doing here? Whoa. Let's see. How do we do that? Where is? <laughs> All right. Yes. Um, roll every time we get donations. Do I have? <laughs> do I have that capability? Where is that? Slash roar. Just type slash roar. Oh, okay. In the <laughs> chat box down there. You can't enter to get into it. Um, yeah. There you go. <laughs> yes, I am so, the novice here. If that wasn't that's clear. That's all I <laughs> Man. Yeah, there's, right. that, um, there's that fellowship or, or that small size fellowship quest uh, in the north part of the Shire. Is all you think mm -hmm. we, we should do that one? Uh, yeah, we could do that. Cool. I, I like Alrighty. that idea. I, yeah, let's do it. Sweet. Let's follow um, you. We don't. I don't think Matt probably doesn't have a mount, so we're gonna have to walk it. That's that's fine. That, we can no problem. The, but, <laughs> the nine walkers. Am I right? They didn't. They didn't yes. need horses. Yeah, I I want. I've been wanting them to give us mounts that you can have two people on for a long time in this game <laughs> awesome <laughs> be so cool just give us a mama kill we have like seven people on <laughs> hungry hobbit hello hungry hobbit <laughs> she pet rename hungry wait hobbit. who's who's the uh shepherd dog is that just a random one <laughs> i, I that... actually just pulled him out he's like, like i got a piggy pet. oh how many pets do you have <laughs> all of them no, just, i have a lot but... <laughs> I love the lore master. They they're running around shooting magic, and uh, they're they're pretty much Radagast. They've got all the yeah. animals. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty they're pretty amazing. I got my little pig here. I don't even you can hear him making pig sounds. <laughs> Let me see. So I've got a question here from Ranger of the North. Do you think that we will ever get another Lord of the Rings RPG game uh, with free world and everything? What do you guys think? Um. um like a I, I like a console so. type game yeah. like uh yeah what was the like one shadow of, of war that that sort of thing, oh like. um yeah. or, i'm or war in the north yeah i'm honestly kind of surprised we haven't gotten another shadow game like Same, with yeah. how pop popular those were yeah they're really fun Great. yeah lore wise they were a little crazy oh they yeah no they're they're insane <laughs> lore wise you come come for the the action not for the lore as i like to say like yeah it's... that's true exactly they're super fun my my dwarves are lagging behind <laughs> he's got his boar though <laughs> i got a boar we're, we're good we're very sh we're very dangerous over short distances yeah. not long distances yeah exactly Can I like just, me in real life I'll just hop on your bear <laughs> yeah there we go i know just ride the bear um so zolan what do you think about the uh free to play sorts of things coming to coming to lord of the rings online here soon do you think that model will work for the game where they're giving away like a lot of the expansions all that sort I, of stuff i i i think they could do it if they do it in the right way i i have faith mm. in them because i actually really like i've always thought the newer uh standing stones teams have been doing a really good job like because yeah. like 
the first original Locher team, like they did a really turbine. good job for the first. Yeah, Turbine did a good job for the first couple of years, but then it felt kind of like it was getting like not enough attention, like a little stagnation mm -hmm. for a year or two. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, I mean, you've been you've been was. playing near the beginning, right? So yeah, I started in 2010. I oh, okay, say. okay. I mm -hmm. I started when the game. I was like it'd been out for like three weeks. Wow. So, wow. Yeah, I was a youngin. I was I was real young. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I was same honestly. <laughs> yeah but um yeah and then it felt a little little trouble there for a little while but then standing stones took over and they, suddenly they started fixing things the housing systems all that kind of stuff i was like oh this is really nice so i think they can do it i think they need to be careful not to go too much into microtransaction stuff mm. you yeah. know i yeah like, I, I know that kind of, yeah. they need to make money i understand that but um yeah, I mean the game was originally designed on the MMO style of you pay, you know, monthly subscriptions. So yeah, I don't know how well mm -hmm. that'll switch over. We'll see. Because I've always argued this, but Lotro has always had the best free to play. Dude, system. your bear is yeah. stuck under the bridge. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> Hopefully he'll catch up. <laughs> <laughs> I think he. Yeah. I think your bear <laughs> might have drowned just now, man. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, that's strange. Let me let me call him back. There we go. There. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Watch. I'm going to fly a kite while we walk. Here we go. Oh. No, I, I, I agree, Zon. Like, wow. Um, they really spearheaded the whole, like, free-to-play sort of... They did. They made they made World of Warcraft compete with them. They, they did. Of, yeah, WoW. They people did. don't... WoW players won't admit it, but Lotro and WoW have <laughs> always sharpened each other in a good way. Like, yeah. like you'll yeah. see that... If you look through the history of it, I, I should make a video on this, but they bounce back and forth, like, in hmm. different things they did with upgrades and free-to-play systems and their levels they always were bouncing like you know they'd level up to 50 and then the other group would level up to 60 like the caps it's very uh, yeah okay all righty so i believe it I starts with teams better with philibert um uh, is it bulger or bulger i've heard it both Bulg ways i've always said it bulger bulger yeah all right, i think it, that's correct i'm gonna i'm gonna make an adjustment if it kicks me off i'll jump right back in i'm gonna adjust okay. something okay. on my internet here Sounds good. I'm trying to uh, trying to make sure everybody uh, in in my chat. Let me know if you can hear everybody. Uh, I tried to turn them up here. So, um, test, test, test. but this first up, so this first quest here, just so everybody kind of knows what we're up to. So we we come up to this hobbit and she's and he's telling us that his cow has gone missing and mm -hmm. there's some foul play involved. Uh, a dwarf came by to see his farm, wanted to buy daffodil. The hobbit said no. And then the dwarf might have come back and stolen her, right? One of these not non longbeard dwarfs. So now which, we're gonna go try to see where this. Which, this uh, which one is it? Uh, is daffodil it, is missing. Daffodil is missing. Can we do the voice for it? <laughs> <laughs> I could read it. Sort of waiting not, anyway. <laughs> no, okay. yeah. uh, we can we can jump into <laughs> chats. I think I I don't think I, I ever answered Ranger of the North. So I think in my yeah. opinion the the. We'll probably get another Lord of the Rings RPG game, especially with the movement of all of these um, these companies and like these kind of inner workings that have been happening. Mm -hmm. I mean, like some rights are being moved around, and especially yeah. with the Amazon show coming out, I would I would be flabbergasted if they didn't capitalize on that with their own gaming, like Amazon mm -hmm. Gaming Studio. So, well, did you guys hear that they canceled their Lord of the Rings MMO? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was Crazy. I was. I had mixed feelings because I was like, for one, I really wanted a new game, but, but at the same time, it I kind didn't of felt like reinventing the wheel, up. right? Like, Absolutely. yeah, yeah. And like, I think they were going to do a different style MMO, which would have been fine, I think. Yeah, a different in the second age, so that would have been kind of mm -hmm. cool. Oh yeah, but it yeah. it always it always falls into that whole trap of like, how many rights do they have? How many do they right. not? It's mm -hmm. the same thing I always say with the Amazon. Yeah, um, Matt, like, how are they, you... they going to? Yeah. What do I yeah, do? I need to go if, talk if, to this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you talk to him, grab the uh, Daffodil is Missing quest. We're okay. just doing that one, right? Okay. Yep. Um, but, yeah, Matt, so if you if you were to design a game in set in Middle-earth, what would it what would it be? What would it look like? Uh, this is a great question. Okay. <laughs> so do I just need to follow you guys now? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go. All right. I just want to make sure I – yeah, Daffodil is Missing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I've, I've always said, like – I would want to combine some of my favorite aspects of previous games. So mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. like Shadow of Mordor, the open world aspect. Shadow of War, both, you know, 
both of them have yeah. that open world but i want to see more of middle earth and not just mordor um yeah. like i want to yeah. be able to travel the entire you know whatever age like it's set in yeah. like yeah like lotro um it doesn't it have even... to be on the same scale like it could even be you know a little smaller a yeah, smaller yeah. scale but like um but then on top of that like so from the return of the king console game you got to yeah. unlock these awesome characters like i oh, loved the cool. fact that you unlocked mary and pippin in their rohan and gondor armor mm, and yeah, that was so, so cool. and like you know you don't have to take it to this extreme but like i i love the lego games and right now i feel like my favorite open world with the exception of lotro my favorite open world lord of the rings game is lego lord of the rings <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, dude. there's so it's many really characters cool. like there's so many characters you can play as and they're Aww. just fun games um Poor cow was oh man yeah and then we've got the stone troll right here so the sun must have caught him when he was out uh, in the daylight he looks confused he's got his he head <laughs> it's like huh? yeah. huh? well, what happened Azarella here. Uh, I noticed she's been following us around, so she must be watching one of our streams. So she's somewhere out there. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I was like, was this your cow? I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I um. So would it be set in like the the late Third Age? Would it be set in like the Lord of the Rings time frame? You think? I mean, uh, probably it... from a a popularity <laughs> standpoint. Um. Mm -hmm and a right standpoint because you're not gonna get the silmarillion stuff to just do oh, a video game true. but mm -hmm. yeah so basically I mean, like yeah. if i mean warner brothers has all the rights that they need i would imagine to do it because they've done oh, the lego game they've done all the lord of the rings games they've done shadow of war so like oh. give me shadow of war with lots of playable and unlockable middle earth characters is basically oh, what I man. want. That would be so much fun. That would be. Awesome. I'm like always down to try new games. <laughs> yeah, and I like that style of it. Free world mixed mm -hmm. with unlocking Maybe, characters in the. Did you? Yeah. Did you guys play New World at all? The, the, I, the, I didn't, but I heard it's are, been pretty good. It's been okay. Yeah, some people say it's good, some people not, but I, I think I played it a little bit and it's really good. Unfortunately, my computer until I upgrade can't really stream it very good. So I haven't done a lot of money <laughs> on my channel, but um. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's it's pretty well done. So something like that, that kind of makes me think why Amazon stopped their Lord of the Rings one since they're doing that though. I think that, that might have been the reason they didn't want to compete with their own game. <laughs> you know what I mean with double right. resources? <laughs> For sure. I think that's cuz I feel like that would have been a cool layout of a new type of MMO kind of but so um, yeah. what's happening in the quest right right now for anybody watching so we we found philibert's cow who was dead right next to the stone oh. troll yeah that's a bummer and yeah now we come back to philibert say uh, i'm sorry about your cow but um and now we're reporting it to the the bounders the mm. bounders yes. of the shire like someone needs to pay for this please yeah. <laughs> we need to do something dude that is a hey, good like up. voice <laughs> <laughs> thanks and, oh um, shoot so i di i didn't do the right thing i guess it says Take oh, a closer look. Now? Oh, I guess I didn't. Uh -oh. oh, sorry. I should have told you to right click. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to right click. My bad. Right <laughs> no, you're That's good. Right. I'll run back with him. I knew I was going to be the weak link here. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. I'm sorry. I was like, I was like oh, we're talking. we're together. Like, we all see this cow, right? So, <laughs> my bad. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Nerd of the Rings, I have someone the Council of the Ring <laughs> on here, or one of our friends. <laughs> um, he was asking exactly the story mode for kingdoms of ardar which he works on i don't know if you guys know what that is but it's a like a i believe it's a mod right council of the ring for the new for a strategy game i'm trying to think what it's called is it battle um, for middle earth uh or... i don't think it's a battle for middle earth uh, I, it's not the total war one it's the um oh. Wait, it's the, the uh man? blades and mount two or something yeah yeah mountain blade yeah yeah, yeah 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 mountain blade yeah yeah and it looks really cool and Ooh. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, Mountain Blade. So he was just talking about that, if that would be a game that would be, like, cool if they came out with. Because there's some really cool mods for those kind of games. Like, I don't yeah. know if you guys played the mods for the Total War Medieval 2 for the Lord of the Rings, the Third Age. I, I have. The last time I played oh, that, dude, so I, I, I had, like, an army of the West, all these elves and men and such. <laughs> And then we just got wiped by Sauron. I was like, where did you come from? He just started walking out on the field and just wiped out my whole army. I was like, all right. Oh, my gosh. That's great. Okay. That's great. So 
Did so I can... did I collect the cowbell? How do I know if I did? You right click it? it, and does it say a little check mark now on your quest on the right? Does it say like talk to the Hobbit? Where is that at? Uh, oh. It should be under your. Main oh yeah, bring right bring the cowbell to fill. Yeah, Yes. Yeah, that guy. Yep. <laughs> that perfect. Guy. I could have said it better myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, in, in terms of story, so uh, I love the Battle of Middle Earth campaigns, and and like that yeah. they took you through the first game took you through just the Lord of the Rings, especially the Rohan Gondor, uh, like their their wars and their their battles. Mm -hmm. Um, the second game was like the whole war in Rovanion and North Rovanion during the War of the Ring, and then the expansion for the second one was the uh, Angmar War. And oh, so yeah. Yeah. I, so like I would love, especially a game that could get people into some of the deeper lore that's still mm -hmm. in the appendices. Yeah, I would love to see an RPG set in. Um, you're you're in you're a man of Arthedain, or maybe even you're uh, Arvidwi, like the last king. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you're just trying to save Arnor during the downfall, Dude. or you're That'd you're so um, fun. yeah, your Eldakar during the during the uh, civil war in Gondor. Mm -hmm. Something like that would just be right. so. I much feel fun. like the the Angmar War so would be a really good. good one. Totally, yeah, and, and it would get people like I mean, all the rights are in the appendices. I don't well, even know if that one's. Look yeah. at how much fun that was in the Battle for Middle Earth, right? The strategy game for yeah. EA back then in the day. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know if you both played that, right? I know. Meta, have you played that little mat? The one where it's like a strategy board. Which what's it Battle called? From, it's called oh, Middle Earth. No, I'm I haven't. About. It's like I have old... It's. I know it's, what you're talking about, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've probably seen it, but there's lots of mods. But there's a uh, the Witch King expansion, and it had a little bit about that. But that mm -hmm. would be a really fun game to focus on mm -hmm. more. Yeah. So I I earned my first trait point. Oh, very good. Ooh, nice, nice. So what do All I? Right. So, <laughs> oh, you go ahead. Tell him, Joyson. Yeah. Uh. So that if you go down next to the sword, next to your uh, skills down there at the bottom left, the little uh -huh. Gandalf portrait. Yes. Uh, if you hit the traits. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh. Um, okay, okay. Yes, sir. You can choose a choose a path. Oh. So I can be martial champion, berserker, or deadly storm. So mm -hmm. I I personally like yellow because that's like area effect. It's like Gimli where you're just yeah. swinging at three guys at once. You hit okay. everything. Yeah. Okay. Red good. usually Boom. most single target damage. Oh yeah. Like. Got and it. Then, Blue is usually for tanking, I think, on champions. Right? All right. Um. So now we need to go tell Bounder Chub, right? Yes. Yeah. We should be except should be over here. All right. And so why I chose this specific quest chain is it'll take us through a fun. Uh, instance where it's us trying to trying to fight some big guys and nice. oh, yeah, a little yeah, later. Yeah. All right. Then, so then once we talk to him and accept this quest, we'll go so, to Ula. Yeah. So how uh, how the story's going for for everybody following along here? Um, Bounder is like, oh, if well, if the dwarves had something to do with this, we've had some dwarves pass through from Thorns Hall from the mm. Blue Mountains. And one is actually staying with us just up up here. Maybe go talk to him about it. Mm -hmm. That's some of my people. They're trying to blame the dwarves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor dwarves. Right. And uh, and then the dwarf is like, oh, doesn't even surprise me. We know those kinds of dwarves, <sighs> the dower hands. They're not long beards, and we know where their camp is. Mm. Yeah. So uh, I need to talk to. The, do I need to talk to this Ulfar? Okay. Yes, yeah. sir. Then All if you right. progress the dwarves of needle hole one. Oh, this is a shop, it says. Yeah, he's a shop too. So you have to right click him and choose the quest over the shop. Because he does both. You might have to exit out and re click if it okay. put you in the shop already. He's like, I wish you would tell me. It what. just it just pulls up the shop when I right click. Oh, oh do you have uh, a come here, did this guy over here? Did you talk to the boundary except <laughs> Oh, where was the bounder? Oh he, he's my right gosh! Here. Sorry, he was, he was so small. Oh like, my gosh! Over him. We were, I thought we were just like chatting. I was like, I, oh well, I'm ready whenever you guys are. I am the bounder. Right here. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh my bad. I was standing on. Oh this. my gosh. <laughs> uh, that's great. Uh, Lars, I think I think they're not remaking the game, but I think they're doing a graphics update here in the next couple years. I want to mm -hmm. say. Um, they're trying to get it done, I what believe, the? before the series or right after the Amazon. Yay. So I think it's yeah. I've been reading some articles on that. They're they're trying. The biggest issue that one of my 
uh, subscribers pointed out is that this game only uses one CPU core, which is oh. why it has oh. trouble loading sometimes when like things load in the distance. And then so, it'll, uh, it'll like crash. Because, That's why. Yeah, because mm. you have a great computer, but it's not using all eight cores. It's using one because <laughs> the way it's programmed. <laughs> of course, so, like, yeah. If they can update that and then also textures and visuals and you know animations, that would be so cool. Okay. I'm good now. Okay. I caught up. The All dwar right, the dwarves of needle hole is where we're going. All right. Yeah. Yes. And did you collect the orders? And then yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now it says it orders. says collect Sweet. orders. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. I'm sorry. I knew. Uh -oh. I told you. Good, I'm gonna be the weak link here. No, you're good. You're good. I we, will we say. Go, uh, so we, what we you guys were talking about uh, the capabilities like of the game and everything i uh when i built my computer my friend who helped me he was like all right now open a program that you know you know you want to run on this thing and so i i opened up lotro and the loading menu he's like what is this that you <laughs> <laughs> i know it's so it's so old i know this like game is the, definitely not so many progress bars and stuff and like he's like what yeah. is this that you're doing you he's like this is essential to your video work that you're doing <laughs> <laughs> honestly there are, there are moments that are in lord of the rings online that i can never f like find any pictures for or art for mm -hmm. that I'm, i can only get from the game um, wow yeah one, one is when they're talking in uh in parth gallon about where the fellowship how the fellowship should split and aragorn ah. saying like let's some of us go to mordor some of us go to gondor i i've never found pictures of them having that conversation huh so mm -hmm. i'm like but I can only use screenshots because, like, that's the only thing that depicts it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I always loved uh, how you used in your uh, lore videos stuff from Lotro before I met you. Because, oh, like, thanks. I would I would see your pictures and I'd be like, I know where that is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it was, like, it was great, though, because there's so much art in this. Because, I mean, people, the work they did on this game, you know? like Oh, uh, yeah. It, like, even though it's an old game, you look around, you're like, yeah. this is a whole world. You know, the graphic style is really cool. And don't forget it the is. maps. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, the map. I know, the maps are freaking amazing. And they've updated them. And there's actually, even though this game, you know, is still older, they've updated a lot of things with, like, the water and stuff. And, like, the newer areas always look better because the textures are newer. Have yeah, they redone them? True. Rohan and Gondor look I, awesome. I looked at some old screenshots of this game when I first played it versus today and i was like yeah. what is that game it looked terrible it's so nostalgic <laughs> though man it's so, it is yeah. oh um, man the pvp zone dude do you remember joyston oh man the old pvp yeah where well, there was like a hundred people on both sides and your computer would just freeze because dude that still <laughs> happens that still happens to me <laughs> yeah. i mean matt don't don't even feel bad i, I was playing with uh, don marshall like a couple months ago and uh-huh I, I love that man, but um, <laughs> he he had us run back a couple times to do some quests that we already had gone through because he just didn't, uh, <laughs> he didn't know what was up. <laughs> oh, sorry, I stopped your lightning bolt. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I'll riddle um, this guy. Lightning bolt this guy. He's asleep. He won't even know. I it's too this riddle's too complicated. He can't he can't figure it out. So since uh, since we're fighting these dwarves, everybody can see that they're different than longbeards because <laughs> we can't fight longbeards. Yeah. Uh, we found some dwarf orders that is uncovering a conspiracy bigger than just the cow it's like um <laughs> bigger than the trying... cow <laughs> yeah bigger yeah. than the cow <laughs> they're actually trying to capture a stone troll out here and bring you know bring them into their dwarven army and so that's that's kind of what's going on i'm yeah. glad that that we've got you can actually write, Yoisten... like you read the order you guys oh that order on the quest you can right click it and it will open you can read it yeah it's kind of cool what were you gonna say, Matt? I was just gonna say I'm glad that um, I I have this terrible habit that I'm one of those people who like goes through the instructions and then is like, wait, what was I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get to the point where I where I slash something. Yeah, we, we yeah, no, dude. Yeah. I, I it's we're funny because. There. I used to play this game. I was joking with you guys right yesterday when we were talking about going hard, try hard and like power doing it. Oh, right? power leveling, yeah. Yeah, I used to play this game back in the day where I would just I would never read the quests. I just accept them and go. Ooh, and yeah. then I, I and back in the day they didn't have a quest tracker. A lot of times I'm like, oh. where do I go? <laughs> I'd be like, where do I go now? I just like to figure it out. 
but uh i've, I've done some yeah, try hard things on, uh, like in this game i uh last year so there's a part in the main quest where you're automatically like slain or incapacitated mm -hmm. and you get achievements if you don't die for a certain amount of time like through hmm. level 20 and so yeah. it was always a goal of mine it, this this quest happens in like the level 40s to not die until i hit that point in the quest chain and oh i actually did it last year i made it to like level 48 or something without dying and i was like oh. what <laughs> that's that's pretty impressive Thank i you. wish there were more titles past me level too 20 right 20 yeah. is it uh yeah like, past level 20 the wary the and all yeah the, the reason that they don't is they wanted you to do those like group uh quests in the barrow downs right they they wanted yeah. you to start playing that part of the game the harder part yeah they need people are gonna die <laughs> <laughs> That is true. Just wanted to extend a welcome to everybody who has been showing up and, and watching. And yeah, thanks so much for being here. And Acerella, yeah, who is yeah. I don't know who that is oh, or which oh, which stream they're out. from. Shout out to her. Yeah, another another longtime player. Look at her 10, 10 year leaf banner. Very nice. Yep. Oh. Um. All right. Oh, so he's one. like, oh, hand these. Whoa. Hand these over. Ooh, level up. Is yes. that what that was? Nice. Yeah, it's the level up animation. I think I'm gonna get it too. Well, I so want he the thinks fork, he dude. thinks this is blasphemous, right? That there's a um that dwarves are trying to tame a troll. And so now yeah. he wants us to go take care of it. Wait, Dog it says I don't okay. I don't have enough room to get one of the rewards. Oh, oh if you uh, hit I. Uh, I you hit your inventory I... and just delete something. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> Maybe, uh, you know what, Matt? Right click on this guy again and go uh -huh. into the browse shop real quick. Okay. okay. And then uh, just go to the sell button. And um, sell I can't really stuff. check. You probably don't have anything super valuable. So you probably I wouldn't just think say so. sell all. Yeah. You probably just say sell all and it'll empty stuff and give you some money. Okay. Yeah, I can get like 91 of the first thing yeah. and 75 of the second thing. And then a good thing for everyone to remember, and uh, Yoisin knows this, but when you sell, usually go to the repair button and repair too. Because, oh, I didn't uh, do that. Yeah, your, your gear usually gets damaged over time. All right. And, uh, do I want Ulfar's hammer or three pork sausages? Oh, I took the pork, but it's up to you. Is the hammer better I, than what um, you got? Um, no, it's not. You hover. Okay, yeah, it doesn't go. look like it is. Yeah, nope. Yeah. I'll take take the pork. All right. Are we, we doing? Pork. Are we doing the next thing with this guy too? Accept yes, the next challenge. Okay. So this will be the uh, the instance that oh, makes we're gonna this travel. Really, oh. Really cool. A gift for the north. Ooh, we get Gandalf talking too. Wait, why'd you guys disappear? Uh, it, just go on the quest and you'll teleport in with us. Yeah, when you hit like continue or whatever it is. Ooh, what's he got here? Um, gift for the north. Oh, travel now. Okay. Whew. Yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. everybody disappeared. <laughs> now you're good. You get the Gandalf thing. Let's go a little story. All right, so we talk to this guy. Continue quest. Yep. All right. All right, right, right. Let's go. We'll, we'll try to keep <laughs> exactly. him alive. Oh, we're trying to keep him alive. Right. Yeah, he'll he'll journey Dude, with us music. for a little bit. The gate is closed up tight. How can you tell that just by looking at it? How do you know? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna hit it. I'm like, yeah. Can it. we just push it open? <laughs> like... <laughs> oh. Ah! What are you doing here? Oh. <laughs> I know. Oh, far, this is matter is none of your concern. Leave now if you value your life. I will not leave. <laughs> Good old dwarves. You were warned. Ah, wait, what? what? Nah. How did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. How did he not see that coming? Dude, that guy like fell down instantly. Our ally there. Yeah, he got hit with an axe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, That's a... right, buddy. You just you stay behind. <laughs> Good job. We got Let's this. Continue. We have a oh, bear and done. a dog for crying out loud. We should. Yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, poor yeah. guy. Yeah. Take. <laughs> He's done. <laughs> take five. Take five, guy. We I got this. Like, and that's it. I've done all the work I can. <laughs> I'll stay behind and make sure none of these slay the stone escape. troll. <laughs> Maybe we should wait closer to dawn. I don't know. Just an idea. All right. I know. Would make sense. Unfortunately, I think we're locked in the nighttime in this instance. Yeah, probably. Look at you just threw fire through a hill. <laughs> yeah. That's that's impressive. 
Not That's even the wizards cool. could do that. <laughs> right? I like I like the fact when you can summon lightning in a cave. That's my favorite part. Oh yeah. Unless yeah, you're just like I I saw. So you were doing. You have like the hammer of Thor or the axe of Thor over there or something. Hey, yeah, mine's <laughs> glowing, dude. Well, I got little glowy things on mine. It's pretty cool. It's from the Gundabad expansion. He gave like some nice. like animations for weapons. That's pretty cool. I wish I could throw them. <laughs> and for I've I'm seen still, still... I've seen a couple people asking in the chat. Um, we are on Crick Hollow. Yes. I'm starting to make a character though to play with Yoisin too, because Yoisin, your character, your main character is on which server again? Uh, Arkenstone, yeah. Arkenstone, which is I have a good like 28 one. characters over there. <laughs> I know. Wow. <laughs> I used to be a Firefoot guy, but then they merged mm. the servers. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you remember those back in the day. <laughs> oh, yeah. A good old high school was in, and that happened for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Were you originally on Arkansas too, or did you get merged? I was. I actually, yeah. Oh, that's okay, where okay, my family nice. and I played. Nice, nice. That's pretty cool. You got your family to play? I got my sister to play for a while. My oh, mom played yeah. A little bit. No, this this game has so many fond memories for me. Like, um, play, played this with my grandpa and grandma, my dad. My mom oh, played wow. for a bit. Um, yeah, my brother played for a bit. A uh, bunch of my friends, like it was, it was a good time. Yeah, it's, man, it's yeah, it's amazing. My friend down the street used to play on my sister's account, and then like nice. they take turns whenever was playing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Back when we could only have one. Account. Yeah, the early two thousand tens. Good, good days. Yeah. <laughs> So for those who don't know, I'm sure you guys know this, obviously, but this is the 15th anniversary of Lotro this year. Yep. That's yeah, crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy. And you know what the worst part is? I started the game a week after the deadline, so I don't get the border. <laughs> <gasps> no. <laughs> if I had started a week oh. earlier, I could have had the 15 leaf border right now. Oh, that's I'm only going to get the 4, dude. I started like a month after like I'm, i feel like i'm a year behind because i still get like i'm like a yeah a year behind yeah like, yeah like a, just, a month just after. right past it yeah exactly yeah, yeah it is it's oh. pretty crazy I, <laughs> Matt, it's... I got a heal coming your way <laughs> oh my pretty oh I'm... there he is there's all whirl i was there's getting pretty is. low huh yeah <laughs> <laughs> where does it where does your health display on this thing uh, uh the green top left yeah, yeah top left green. green top left oh okay Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah, you've got All some right. bleeds on you, so you should be okay. But... Okay. Get the troll! Get him! Troll. Cut his feet! Nice! Ooh, you like to him. Nice. Good I'll job. squash you like jelly. <laughs> that instance is always a tough one at, like, level 8. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, uh, yeah. What, what level are you guys at? Uh, oh, you're at yeah, 9. Oh, yeah, you're at we're the same. Nine. It just there's four of us. Yeah. We all got good, pretty good gear, I think. Let's see. Uh, Marion Baggins asks, "Who is your favorite Middle Earth sibling? Uh, siblings and families? Classic oh. fin Fingelfin Fanor. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I love Aemer and A1. Like, oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's big for me. That's pretty because it fantastic. reminds me of me and my sister. So like, yeah. I, for for me, I, like, yeah, definitely not Fanor and Fingolfin, but uh, the bro a lot of the brothers of how Tolkien writes them, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Faramir and Boromir, Elros and Elrond, like oh. that that always strikes home with me for sure. It's, his writing was amazing. Yeah, his relationships and all the different kinds were just appropriate for this uh, Tolkien Day reading, right? That's the theme. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> How about you, Matt? Um, so it was the question was family, or what? What Families was the? Families or siblings? Oh um, yeah. So I like, I've I've mentioned on my channel before. Uh, I have an adopted daughter, so like the Theoden Aowen relationship, oh, like cool. hits a whole nother level for me. And like Theoden's a character that, uh, as the years have gone on and I get older in age um it's a, a character that i um i i uh relate to quite a bit and even more so since yeah. since our adoption so yeah that's cool yeah. that's cool 
the the part in the movie with the acting when Aomer thinks A one's dead. Yeah. And he yeah. starts like crying. Yeah. Dude, that gets me every time because like I'm so protective of my younger sister. <laughs> it's yeah. like yeah. well, and she's really independent and like does her own thing. So like Wait, are we whole... on a quest right now? Or do we are we going no, to do uh, something? Okay. We're done, right? I just wanted to make sure I wasn't gonna screw us up when we got somewhere. <laughs> no, you're good. We'll head to uh, Matt, have you seen Bag End yet? Uh, I think so. Yeah, because there was like a party going on the last time I was playing. I think it was nice. okay. Hobbit Day or yeah. you know one of those special I think occasions. We went... I think we walked. Yeah, we did. We did a stream for it. I think. I popped on and watched. he was doing a stream of Lotro and I was. And I was like, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> <laughs> and have thankfully. Have you seen the Prancing Pony yet? Uh, I don't know if I have. If I did, it was at the same time, which I checked. It was really like fun. nine months ago that I played this. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah. we can start heading over. There's a lot of cool places. Travel through the Shire. I wish we could get to some of the bigger places, like like Ereibor or something. But oh yeah, I mean, we could, but it'd be kind of hard <laughs> to get to get that there. So yeah. We have no way to really teleport. I don't know. That is always fun. It's like the high level. summoning whistle. Running, yeah, running like the lower levels through. Yeah. Um, let me see. Any, so how what's the what's the key to to getting like the ability to travel? Like obviously you need to be higher level, I guess. Um you're going to have to get a mount and the mount is uh, you get it in the Bree fields, right? Okay. I think it's level mm -hmm. What is the level now, Cap? It used to be 20, but I think they lowered it way down, didn't they? Uh well, so you can so this is like still I think one of the things that they they try to get you to buy the I think you have to have 95 uh turbine mm -hmm. point or latra points to mm -hmm. um, that's the easiest way to do it <laughs> that is yeah to, to get the writing yeah. trait um but i think if you're either free it might be free and vip it's like if you're level 20 you can go do the writing challenge and then mm -hmm. they'll give you the trait to ride but yeah. um ultimately matt like the fastest way to travel is you're going to talk to like stable masters and yeah like yeah major hub and then just okay yeah. So That's it's just a matter. Thing. It's kind of you. You got to unlock them first, basically. Exactly. Yeah. It's like the like the fast travel in uh, mm -hmm. in Shadow of Mordor. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. And you have just when you see them and they're li they're not clicked on yet, make sure you click on them. Yeah. For I always sure. tell everyone that in my videos. I'm like, just click on them, guys. Yeah. Because later you walk past them and you're like, oh dang it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have um... to walk back wanted to shout out our, our uh, save the children fundraiser that we're doing yeah how yeah. much longer is it up matt it's um i think i have it going through the weekend i think i left cool. it going up through the weekend so yes cool. um, so anything anything helps um absolutely you know, we've already donated and everything and uh yeah it just goes and it helps children around the world so my channel's too small youtube won't let me do it <laughs> that's so weird to me it is, it is. No, yeah. if you guys want to donate and you're watching on my stream make sure you hop over to their video later and click the link <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's yeah it's kind of weird that youtube does that they don't let you fundraise until you have ten thousand subscribers yeah it's like hey who knows maybe i'll get there sooner or later yeah it's like the uh yeah well i guess i don't know it's, it's it is kind of weird you'd think when you could monetize you'd be able to do it you know mm -hmm. exactly they, they probably are just like maybe want people to be really serious about it and like yeah. think that you know, oh without yeah having I guess... more i don't i don't know i don't know yeah. I, <laughs> I don't know if there's a good reason <laughs> who knows all right let's click hi this bogo in this bogo have you noticed matt when you click it it'll have a different look of the t above it once you learn it i think i might so have already learned this blue... one. Oh, okay if it has that blue glowing it's yeah. a new one you got to click on if not you uh you're good no, it's like a like a white horse. Okay, then you, yep, you already learned it. Uh, so are we gonna walk over to Bree then? Yeah, yeah, we'll walk. I this think is, I uh, might be able to. I've been to Bree before. I can oh, go have? to yeah, I can go to West Bree, travel for oh. five coin <laughs> things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah for, you should do that. I'll try to ride as fast as I can. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be like. A troll and spend a mithril coin. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I was like. I don't have any mithril coins on the server, so. <laughs> I know, I know. It's a bummer because you have everything on the other one. Yeah. I know. That was. Cross I appreciated that you came and made a character to play oh, with us no over problem. here. no problem. No problem. Yeah. I'm definitely going to level up my guy, though. I might even, I don't know how much it costs. I've never tried it, but I might even transfer one of my higher levels to the Arkham stuff. Hmm. Just so oh, I have yeah. someone to, like, you know, do stuff with all you guys on both. So, Yoisin, how long did it take you, because you created this guy, and you're already a higher rank than I am. How long did it take you to get him up to level nine? 
So with with VIP and like all these pre order ex- or expansion pre orders that I've <laughs> had over the years and stuff, it's super easy. Like um, under my name there, I have all these like up arrows, and those are all uh, XP boosters. Yeah. But it, I want to say it took me like forty minutes, forty five minutes or something to just fly through uh, to get them wow. get them ready for tonight. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. If you, uh, <laughs> That's a lot less time than I've spent getting my guy to level eight. <laughs> But like yeah, I mean, lot. it is your first character, you know. You're you're still experiencing everything, and you're enjoying it. That's yeah. The no, I do. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm soaking it in. I'm soaking it Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Yeah. When you've done, when you've leveled in the same quests with like a similar area, because there's multiple areas you can start. But like when you've done it, you can fly through it. Yeah. Just like, click, oh, click, yeah. next, next, next. Very easy for us then. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is. Old and iron shield. Place. I can't imagine if we would have had to walk all this way. Like this is a pretty, this is a pretty good I, little jaunt here. Oh, my, yeah. my friend, actually my brother-in-law, sent me a video showing um, sizes of games, and Lotro is actually one of the biggest to scale with your character walking. Yeah, like that there is. Like that makes it sense. pales Dude, World of Warcraft and other MMOs. Like Zola, they're tiny. Uh, Zolan, what yeah. am I doing? I have a map to the Spring Festival right now. Like, dude, I can just <laughs> teleport over there. <laughs> just <laughs> teleport. <laughs> Okay. All right, that's my, that's a lot easier, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Matt, if you click my my name in the below years on the left side there, because I'm close enough, you can select me, and then you'll see underneath the buffs, all those little arrows. Uh huh. Those are all for items. If you notice, you hover the arrows, they'll tell you it like extra XP, extra XP kind of thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and that's from all like like you always know was saying all the expansions. Yeah. I think the worst wow. part about having all the expansions is when you start a new character, your inventory is almost full. Oh, yeah. Man. Uh, that, that was honestly a big part of me getting this character up was, like, clearing out my inventory so I could actually play. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Counselor Ring says he's struggling to get <laughs> monetized, still need thousands <laughs> of hours of watch time. Yeah, that that is a hard thing with starting. I with When everything happened, everything stopped. My orchestra, my choir, work, school... <laughs> I was like, what am I going to do? And then I'm like, I'll start a channel. I'm yeah. Doing, <laughs> yeah. Doing Lord of the Rings stuff. And then I was like, oh, I guess I could use Lotro as my medium. And yeah. Do voices. <laughs> it's kind of oh, like, then, like, should I, should I just play a bunch of Lotro or start a YouTube channel? Why not both? Yeah, ex- Let's do exactly, both. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, I mean, man, it still took a lot of time and getting a lot of stuff out. So For sure. I, I uh, was also doing that Lotro live stream with, with Bloodborne, who's, who, mm. he, he streams like a lot of, lord of the rings online content and he was telling me like it took so he applied for monetization i want to say 10 yeah. or 11 months ago and what? it took youtube like 10 or 11 months to actually whoa confirm. what it's it crazy took me, like it took like two weeks for me if not less yeah That's i think insane. it was a bug honestly i've never seen wow. youtube take that long with it so huh. poor guy he finally got it right like a couple weeks after that live stream but that like, what That's- sad that's not it that's, is they have done that to him that's kind of lame. yeah <laughs> this is funny i just got a comment some uh shout out to q69573 how's that for a username um <laughs> thank you says thank you, thank you, thank you. this is so meta i usually have nerd of the rings playing in the background while playing my high elf <laughs> <laughs> that's nice great. that's nice oh man that's and great. shout out to olivia w just gave ten dollars to save the children our fundraiser oh, awesome. today Very good. Baruch Azad. <laughs> Baruch Azad. can you yell while you're on horseback uh i don't know if you can do emotes you could try mm. it'll it'll say it but i don't know if it'll do the sound or the movement like it'll say it in the chat. Oh yeah, the, it I, says I let out a mighty roar. So yeah, and if you if I click on you, like from over here, watch you'll be able to see this. Look what it says. <laughs> it like it slaps. What <laughs> slaps me. <laughs> it is oh, the absolute gosh. funniest animation. You should when you stop do slash slap. The sound effect is hilarious. Wait, so uh, Matt, in um, you do like slash cheer. At the sign of the Prancing Pony chapter, mm-hmm. it was like the very end of that chapter, right? That uh, Strider, didn't he like climb the wall? I yeah. always am like, yeah, he yeah, climbs he over climbs. the wall. Yeah. <laughs> I always think about that when I'm at the Bree wall. It's like, dude, it's how like, did you climb over this hedge? Yeah. This is <laughs> yeah, exactly. And like, what a way to enter a city. Not shady at all. Does it? I mean, uh, I know. I wonder why people awesome. don't like him. Yeah. <laughs> 
why is that guy climbing over in the middle of the night? Oh, I'm sure. Out? I'm sure he's fine. He seems like a stand-up guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man, that's too funny. Uh, it's making. Do you have any um, interesting comments, Matt, to, for um, us to discuss? Let's see here. Ba -ba -ba. Sorry, I've got to clear off to the side here. So I, uh, I've had some people comment that it, this makes them really want to jump into the game. To which I say, do yes. it. Come do over it. to Crick Hollow. We're we in need, Crick Hollow. Yeah. We need to get. Uh, I want this game to be loved on more. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I I had someone make a funny comment on my video about the review of the teaser for the thing. It said, um, he said, and I agree, I thought it was hilarious, but he goes, if the new Amazon series is really good, it's going to make everyone to come, come play Lotro, right? Yeah. And he's like, and if it's really bad, it's going to make everyone want to come play Lotro to get the bad taste out of it. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, eh, that's a win-win for me. And I was like, add more people in Lotro either way. <laughs> okay, so uh, I do have a good question from Bara193. Uh, I'll pose this to both of you. She asked, uh, she or he asked about Yoisin specifically, but have either of you done a full Lotro run from Bag End to Mount Doom? Just running, no mounts. Oh. They said I... that they said that they've done it and it took them four hours. Yeah, that's, that's about that's, that's about it. right. Four hours. I actually that's, thought it'd be more. That's a long time. I I ran one time, but I don't think I did it from Bag End to Mordor. But it is. Like I think I would want to do it on my horse. Whoa! But, no, yeah, I could do it. Like, Whoa. no, that just sounds. That sounds like miserable. torture. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I mean, there is something that you can do in the game where it's like a chicken. Like you're role playing as a chicken. You can yeah. try to run to Minas Tirith and stuff. And I, yeah, I not get killed in one hit. I, yeah. Yeah, I've made it past like near the gates of Moria, like in Aragian, right? Like at that oh. river. I've made it yeah. there, I think, as the chicken, and then I got killed. <laughs> yeah, it's that's so hard. It is. Oh my gosh. I'll do it for a, we'll do it for a fundraiser, Middle Earth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll oh go my gosh. run all of Middle Earth. You like we'll Middle start Earth. back in. And you go to Mordor and I'll go to like the Iron Hills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, two directions just see yeah. which is a little bit faster. Do uh call it the Middle Earth Marathon. Yeah. Oh. Oh, all right, yeah. so where where are we going now? I think see, so I think we might have a couple more people that joined us here. Nice, oh, nice. Maybe either that or we're either that or we're just all heading the same direction. That's entirely yeah. possible too. Hey, a of, well, a lot of people accepted our invite. <laughs> um, let's see. So yeah, the prancing pony, but we can keep going. So it'll yeah, be it vastly is. beyond our level, but we can oh. try to hit Weathertop. What could possibly go that wrong? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could just get on Zolan and <laughs> get on my big guy and just protect everybody. Honestly. I mean, yeah, Matt. If you want to see like Weathertop, maybe. Yeah, you know. let's, dude. Yeah, I'm up for I mean, whatever. In theory, I could get on my hunter. Can't I fast travel us around? Right, I have fast travels route that it brings all fellowship, doesn't it? Ooh. Oh, do there's that. a level. There's a level thing there. I'm pretty sure. Oh, is there? Oh, okay. Is Man. it? Is it? I'll be too low level. It, or is it over? Yeah, five? I mean, we can try it. How how high is your hunter? Uh, I think he's like forget 60 40 <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Bring, bring him in and then if it doesn't work you can protect us with him okay all right i will be right back i'm gonna put the ring of power on i'll be right back nice very good <laughs> i am a i am on level nine i don't know if i've i'll meet you guys if you guys want to go to southern or go to the gate down there yeah sounds Joystin, good. i'll meet you there um yeah matt so something like this game has such a good community uh, yeah i've been mm -hmm. i've been around this boar fountain before and they've done uh, trivia contests where people oh, give away cool. things in the game for yeah oh, it, cool. i distinctly remember one of the questions it was what what does the mouth of sauron call frodo and sam at the black when he's talking to gandalf at the black gate like, what's the specific mm -hmm. um you... it's uh imps right Ooh. is it imps That's, i mean he calls uh, but I guess or maybe he was... said oh he he calls uh um, Pippin, because he says, I see you have another of these imps with you or imps. something like that. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even think about that, yeah. I, um, I mean, does that I was mean thinking, there's like, imps spies. in Tolkien's world? No, this is he funny. Says, Sauron hates spies, but that's funny. He said what? Uh, Sauron hates spies. Oh, like, that's, Sauron that's, hates spies. 
Yeah, sorry, I probably didn't phrase the question that well, but because he does call them imps. That's funny. Yeah, yeah so yeah. that's funny that it, it, I had a very similar. So in uh, on uh, my channel with my son on our Nerd of the Bricks channel, we did a, a trivia build where we were asking each other uh, Lord of the Rings trivia. So he was asking me from the books mm. and I was asking him from the movies. And one of them was what name does Saruman call the hobbits um, when they pass him like heading back to the Shire? And I can't remember oh. off the top of my head. So I was like, I was like, I Hard. just, I just, and I got it right in the moment, but now I can't remember what it was. <laughs> <laughs> the adrenaline was pumping. I know. Like, oh. Yeah. I don't remember. I, I know. It was, crazy. Man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Sma smash that like button, everybody, on whatever stream you're on. Yeah. Whichever classic. stream. Yes. Oh, smash that like button. I saw some people smash chatting that. it, saying it in the chat. So I'll say it too. <laughs> smash it. Or just click it. You don't have to. No, know. get people to know we're give it a light Yeah, give it yeah. a soft touch. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's all in. Are you? Let me know all when right. you're in. I'm on. This is my elf, so I, it's my oh. like, only elf. Nice. Oh wait, a really old character. I made him like over ten years ago. He's so level we've... sixty-five, by the way. So we've got okay. De Corpse with us. It looks like. It's a fun name. You guys here at the end. I am writing up now. Oh, there he is. All right. All right. It, Rivendell might work. We might actually be in the left. I'm not sure, but. So uh, is everyone in the fellowship that's coming? Okay. All right. We're here. All, All right. right. So you're Ella, so, Ella Star. Ella Star. Ella Star. Yeah. It's, this guy, I like this guy's armor from a long time ago. I don't remember what this armor is from, but it's cool. Um. All right, I'm going to go to Rivendell, so a little thing's going to pop on your screen, and you're going to say yes. Hopefully it works. <laughs> going to say, do you want to travel to Rivendell? And you're going to say, yes, please. <laughs> what? Why is it? Oh, there we go. Oh, perfect. Oh, yes. Work. Nice. All right, sweet. Good, good. This is, this is the way to go right here. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. We're in Rivendell. Yay. Oh, I, I do love the music. The music oh, is nice. Man. I, when I when I interviewed Chance Thomas with this song, he was talking about when you walk up at the top, the music is. He did it in a way with the birds and the music that right when you come into the valley is like the best part of the song, huh. like the epic oh. up part. Yeah, so it's pretty, oh, that's it's pretty, pretty cool. cool. I wish I had that like recorded. That that was a in person interview, but I might do another one with him in the future. Yeah, he said he wanted to come on the channel sometimes so. though. Oh, that's cool. Man, it's, it looks so good, though, Rivendell. It really does. Let's go so talk everyone in that chat, one. let us know uh, any questions you guys have. Any Absolutely. You'd like us yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, I should hit this, right? Stable Master. Yes. He's Can I hit that? It. Wait. What I do? Uh, Right-click it? Or can I not yeah, do it right. yet? You gotta yeah. click her, I think. Oh, I click her. <laughs> yeah. <Right>. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was She's clicking. Like, yeah. I was clicking the thing above her head. And I was like, "What is going on?" Okay. Yeah, cool. yeah. I, that is a little bit weird. It's like. Uh, everybody in the chat, what were you guys reading today for Tolkien Reading Day? Let's see, for me, I was working on my next video so <laughs> yeah i i was editing <laughs> i had to finish off tomorrow's release are we going I in this wondering. are we going in this building and yes. uh yeah okay. the last, last home only nice oh wow uh, so Great tranquil Fruit moon says what is your favorite sword in tolkien's works hmm. Hmm, that's a good question that is a good question I think for from like a personal it's definitely not the strongest in the legendarium but and has to be my favorite just for what it stands for for the symbol of it yeah um that not even sauron could keep it destroyed uh like the hope yeah. of men uh yeah. i really after i watched matt after i watched yours on the the black swords that are like from yeah the, mm, those dude. are those are like i think that's like one of my new favorite swords after i watched your video <laughs> <laughs> 
very cool. I really like. I, I love um Cold Iglo oh. stuff. The spear, not that it's yeah. Oh yeah. I really love that. And the Glass Hammer Band, I think it's called, did a song on that. And oh really? Really cool. Or is it? Or is it Lonely Mountain Band? I, I don't know. I have to go look it up. Oh, I love Lonely Mountain. Did you? It's, you always tend to just fall down. I, I fainted because there's Bilbo. <laughs> Oh, Bilbo. There you go. Wake him up. Wake him up. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta slap me. <laughs> All right. There we go. Lindir. Bilbo. Hello there. Oh, very good. Wait, what is the thing that I... Is it yell? What do I need to do? Uh, uh, slash roar. 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 That's what it was. <laughs> if you want to look through all the emotes for fun, you, if there's a little bubble next to say where you type. Oh, and yeah. You click that, go to emotes, ah. and then just keep going more emotes, and it'll show you everything you can do on your character. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gross. We're about yeah. to. Uh... <laughs> All right. Who do we need? Do we need to talk to somebody? Oh, no. We're just. Oh, okay. Just way beyond our level. Yeah. Look, okay. Look at, look at this. All right, Matt, um, watch me. Right? This, this is my favorite. I like this one a lot. Wee. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. a... The corpse like, is doing push ups. Nice. Yeah. Uh, about to do something very memey for this live stream matt do you have uh do you have room in your inventory yeah i think i'm gonna start a trade with you if you want. oh okay very good do you like some darwinian <laughs> darwinian red yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay of the west getting nerd of the rings drawn what <laughs> <laughs> what uh okay so don't worry i'm an elf i can handle it today so if you just right click those in your inventory, you'll let the wine take you to a whole different part of Middle Earth. Oh no! Oh, there we go. I have to go rescue him, huh? <laughs> oh look, I got bubbles popping up. That's fun. I know the screen's gonna get real wonky. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> there, there are these kegs in the game, Matt, where it's like if you drink out of them in your like house or whatever, uh -huh. it'll just teleport you to a random place in Moria <laughs> or like wherever. Like you don't remember how you got there, kind of thing. <laughs> exactly, and it even takes away. It's like you have like an underpants that that's there instead, and then it's like oh. what happened to your pants? Oh my you know? gosh! <laughs> and the symbol, I never understood, but I love the fact that the symbol that says that is a panda head. Oh yeah, I, it's <laughs> what, like a what sad the, panda. That? <laughs> Wait, You're sad, a sad isn't panda? Sad you panda lost, panda yeah, you here? lost your yeah. pants or something. <laughs> oh my gosh! The first time I clicked that barrel when I got it back in the day, it ported me to a spot in Moria on top of a ledge in the foundations of stone like above the lake that <laughs> yeah. falls in. And I was just like, what just happened? <laughs> yeah, now I got to follow, follow Gandalf. Um, yeah, exactly. See, Matt, if you'd like to see our, uh, yeah. our title, well, not our title character, because Sauron's not here, but <laughs> rather, than, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. rather the ring bearer. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I had a question from the chat here. Who is the most influential hobbit? Of all I, time. Pro probably, probably this one right here. All right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. I like this depiction I I, of Frodo. He's with, got a I'd almost go with belly on him. I, Bilbo, but yeah, I know Frodo just did so much. Yeah. Sam is the reason that it actually seen it, so I like it's hard. I don't know. Yeah. yeah most I'm at a bow to his awesomeness. Thank you. You're wonderful. I mean, well I think done. from an overall perspective, if we're taking like the Red Book of Westmarch and its subsequent copies into consideration, then it has to be Frodo because he would, you know, Frodo of the Nine Fingers. Right? Yeah. He would be a tale for generations to come. That oh, is yeah. true. For sure. Good point. That is a good Although point. Although we can't discount these hobbits <clears throat> here. Sam, Mary. Wait, where? Where? <laughs> oh, I didn't know they were oh. here. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Sam? Hello, guys. <laughs> what am I forgetting? <laughs> Matt, isn't it isn't it something that we we've talked to these two in real life? <laughs> we have. That's right. That was one of the that best moments so ever. Cool. Man, so I still cool. have bubbles. I, I I'm so embarrassed that I'm meeting these guys when I'm all tipsy, having <laughs> just drank my them. wine. It's still I still get bubbles popping up in my head a little bit here. See, you see my game now is get you tipsy and then yeah. talk to the fellowship of the yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I had a good question from someone in chat. They said, is there something in Lotra you want them to add or is missing? And one mm -hmm. thing I would really love them to add, I've wanted them to add from the beginning of the game, is an up and down vertical where you can have flying mounts. 
and spring. I, yeah, I would love but, to be able to get those aerial shots of Lotro. I'm not Although sure they would have to go out. They would have to. Um, let's see. If we go upstairs, we can see Master Elrond. Well, you, oh wait, where? You, Yoisin, you know that uh, up yet? these stairs right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yoisin, you know that um, uh, that map where you can like see the actual game up and down like online or whatever, and it like shows yeah. the whole Middle Earth where like. Yep. Right, like, I, like I feel like you're right. They'd have to really do a lot of programming to be able to see the actual vistas without just looking like nothing. <laughs> True, because like if you but, go to outside the areas, like they don't, they don't look all that good, like because they're not meant yeah. to be seen. But wouldn't that be cool to be able to actually fly an eagle around, even if it's just like a fast travel and just see a, like a, you know, see things? I'd be so. Cool. That would be one thing. Like, I I love that idea. I think for me, especially as like a a person who has played Dungeons and Dragons and that sort of thing, like. Um, sometimes the classes in Lord of the Rings Online can be a bit restrictive, mm -hmm. so I would love to see some sort of multi-classing if you could do something like that. I yeah, mean, more than just the tree system they changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That would be a really hard system cool. to implement. But, like, I mean, Aragorn, he's most like a captain in this game, I would say, with the Oathbreakers mm -hmm. and all that, but at the same time, he's partially a champion. You know? and so it's Yeah, like, it's definitely a mix, right? It, like, it is, and I yeah. would love to be able to do that. I mean, it would add so much diversity to how everybody plays their characters it's like mm -hmm. oh we're both champions but one's a champion guardian and one's like a champion minstrel that'd be so yeah cool. yeah do you want to you guys want to go see arwen yeah sure yeah, we can go go see uh, aragorn boromir and all of them. yeah let's yeah. let's just this way we'll go down here man the, yeah the music in this game though dude it's when i it's when i good. interviewed chance thomas I was like, so did you listen to some of Howard Shores and like slightly get inspiration from that? And he was like, I had never listened to his stuff, <laughs> which was like, oh, oh man. wow. He said, he said, I think it's just we drank from the same Tolkien Kool Aid that was nice. To that. <laughs> so, because Tolkien describes things, you know, it has a certain feel to the story. Yeah. So I think it's pretty cool. All right, so I think the fastest way is to go up this route over here. Thanks to Anonymous and uh, Joel Moss for the donations to the fundraiser. And nice. I'll add King David over here on the Nerd of the Rings stream. Also a good yeah, donation. I, I forgot to shout him out earlier, too. He, yep, <laughs> King David. Baruch Hazar Menu. Keep it up, you guys. Very good. Yeah, thank you so much. Every little bit really really goes, goes far. Absolutely. I love... Right. So this is... Again, totally different game, but uh, the in Lego Lord of the Rings, how it's always raining in Bree. Like, oh, I absolutely yeah. love oh, yeah. that. Dude, the Lego games are amazing. They're right? so good. They are. They're so Star fun. Wars when I was younger. Well, they, they're, they're coming out with the, the new uh, Star Wars one, and yeah. I couldn't help but think, like, okay, now do Middle Earth. They probably oh, won't, yeah, but I, mean, I, uh, I would love it if they did. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like you're playing as Turin and you yeah. like, kill Glaurong and oh Glaurong my gosh. just like falls into Legos. <laughs> <laughs> we just go around this rock right here and then we have to go up this arc. Uh... Matt, did you ever play like Skyrim or any of the Elder Scrolls like Oblivion? No. Uh -uh. We, we got to go around the rock. We got to go around the rock. We can't um, go it, it, it's sort of like Shadow of War and all of that, where it's open yeah. world RPG sort of thing. I right. would, I've always thought if the Silmarillion writes, like, especially oh, if the games yeah. open up, that a um, Silmarillion, sort of Skyrim, oh man, yeah, Skil Silmarillion would be amazing. Yeah. yeah, you know what I think would be cool if the Amazon series, if they can't, you know, they're using the appendix, which has a lot of the Second Age, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But if later they can get some rights for the Silmarillion to expand on next seasons, or something. yeah, like I don't know, that that'd be, be good. Yeah, I just hope they have enough. Worry. I hope they have enough content to actually not like change too many things. I don't want too many like, you know what I mean? Like I don't mind a little. Mm -hmm. change. I mean, yeah, Matt, you were telling me that they're posting, that they're tweeting out today just some of the appendices. Yeah, some some appendices that... quotes and stuff. Yeah, there's a and lot. Actually, yeah, in Lord of the Rings. like, isn't there like how many pages is there? For the second age it's a, it's a good little chunk i right? mean there there's the appendices make up a pretty good chunk of text mm -hmm. there yeah i'm i'm waiting like i i always wish that like uh when they do audiobooks like when 
Andy Serkis did the audiobooks. I was like, oh, I hope yeah. he read the appendices. <laughs> and like, no, yeah. of course they don't, but. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's like a whole mini book in itself. Yeah. <laughs> And, and some of it I'd be okay if they don't read. It's like, here is how the ho Hobbit calendar works. It's oh, like, yeah, no, yeah. No, that's, that's not. But, like, the tale yeah. of Aragorn and Arwen? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yeah. my gosh. It'd be so good. That, like That alone would be a good little, like, short movie. Yeah. Like, like I would, itself. like, all I want, like, the aside from a an animated scouring of the Shire, like, I would love it if just Liv Tyler and Vigo did like an audiobook recording of the tale of Aragorn Narwin. There we go. We can all stand and take a oh picture. Oh my gosh, dude. Don't even get me started. That sounds amazing. <laughs> that would be awesome. Exactly. Look at that. We're so cool. We are. So wait, is this, uh, is this guy a player? Yeah, he is a player. This, uh, yeah, stand there. Little, he's just little standing 54, there. Little, just chilling. Just, He's probably like, doing the chapter quest or it's something. Like photo yeah. bombing. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> he's just standing oh, sure. there. I'm like, what's he look? <laughs> what's he looking at? Oh. I know. I I've been now that people like a lot of people on the server are starting to know that I do videos. Right, oh yeah. So like, I have people that will just come up and like wave. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> like, I was like, oh hello. <laughs> oh man. So do, yeah, cool. if you, you do all if your. You ever, oh, go ahead. Um, Oh, sorry. I was going to say, if you ever interview Vigo, uh, again, I'd love to be a part of that. But uh, if you ever interview him, you, you should have him read uh, at least some quote oh, from yeah. the tale of Aragorn and Arwen. That was so my favorite, like my favorite, possibly it's my favorite true. moment from my channel, period, is mm -hmm. John Rhys Davies reading the description oh. of the glittering caves uh, mm -hmm. when oh. I interviewed oh. him. Like, Absolutely. oh, my gosh. Oh. Well, I don't want everyone to butt in, but if you ever need another person, just sit there. And be like, <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would, it would be a dream to meet those people. It would be so cool. Oh, my gosh. It's a, yeah, it was, it's definitely one of those, like, I can't believe I'm doing this right now. Dude, I, yeah. I'd freaking fly out if you guys were going to meet them somewhere. I'd be like, I'll come. <laughs> <laughs> I'll spend the $200 on a plane ticket. I'll come. No. I'll have to break open my piggy bank and get a loan out. But, you know, be... <laughs> I, I'd walk up and they'd be like, who's this guy? Because I've never shown my face before. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah we'll never be able to show it we'll be like sorry wait, we, we don't have to you'll have to I'd tell us be, like if you ever I'd tell anyone we'll have to kill you yeah no i'd just be very blurred out in all the videos <laughs> a walking blur just like blur you in every shot. oh my gosh all right you guys want me to teleport us somewhere else let's let's go yeah see should Nicholas we gimli and and all of them first okay oh, oh yeah, yeah down here yeah 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 okay Men of the West is way ahead of us. We're yeah, coming. he is. <laughs> we can catch up, though, because we got my Moosey buff. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got to find uh, the I love the Hunter. Do you guys want to do another quest thing after yeah, this? Yeah, for sure we yeah. do. Yeah, we should definitely. I'll have to probably bring us back to yeah. Rhee, or, or actually, we can even do stuff in Air of the Wind. Or yeah, something. that'd be good. That quest line's pretty easy and quick to follow. Yeah. I mean, I'm sitting here on level nine, and I'm like, man, 10, 10's a nice round number. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> very good. So, yeah, we'll get, there. we'll get you there. Oh my gosh, so fun! Shout out to Anonymous, just gave twenty dollars to save the children. Hey, Thank you so much. Um, what's the quote from Aragorn? Um, deeds, deeds shall not be less praised for butchering it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you need exactly. the uh I, have you guys seen the so digital tolkien um just made like an online tool that makes uh stuff searchable in like the te from the text Ooh. um it's like oh, search wow. search.digitaltolkien.com whoa oh, that's and, awesome and oh, you, so you get the link posted in this chapter <laughs> yeah <laughs> so like like they were they were showing it i was they just launched it today and i was listening to them oh. on the tolkien guide stream and i pulled it up and they're like so you know if you have a random phrase that you're like i wonder how many times this phrase is said yeah, yeah. oh wow yeah that's it's amazing. it's pretty legit like <laughs> yeah yeah no you seriously you could search baruch yeah. kazad and find out how many times it's uh, oh wait said. We, we don't want yeah, to we're it, almost but... there almost there Sorry, yeah, the quote that I was thinking of, yet the deeds will not be less valiant because they are unpraised. Mm. 
Yeah. That's what we say to our anonymous friends. That's right. right that is pretty cool. Dude, it's Tolkien stuff is so relatable to whatever situation you are in life. Yeah. Like from where wherever you're from, I feel like there's something in Tolkien that you're gonna relate to. Absolutely. In his story. Yeah. It's so amazing. I'll have to try out that search tool though. That's amazing. I mean, like, <laughs> I, you know, I've got the I found PDF versions of the books like for yeah. videos. So I'm yeah. just like, yeah, all right, Control F, and then I can just get in there, but. Yeah, yeah exactly oh my exactly. gosh search function it's a difference maker <laughs> if you're <laughs> yeah, like script and videos like we do oh my gosh uh, yeah i that is something i don't have it <laughs> there was i i can't remember what it was uh in one of my videos i made a reference to how many times a particular phrase is used and um oh. there was people who were like I can't believe you went through and count. I was like, no, I did an app. I did the search yeah. function and saw how many results there were for my yeah, exact match. Yeah. Like you give Dude. me far too much credit. <laughs> oh man. I got a shout out. One of my, my Patreon. I made a comment in the video in passing. Cause a lot of times I'll, this game, they do a really good job of using old fashioned words all the time in this game that mm -hmm. aren't used a lot in our normal time. So I'll read a word and I'll be like, okay, there's your word of the day. And yeah. I said the other passing in one of my episodes the other day. I'm like, I'm like, I wonder how many times I've said that. And my went through and found all the times I said that. I was very <laughs> impressed. Very impressed. Hey, it's that guy who was uh, over by Arwen. Now he's here with Gimli, clapping his hands. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe they are. They are everyone's chilling Wait. with us, I think, here. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Let we'll me see. Oh, now. this is awesome. We're all on, like, oh. Hello, Hello, clap. I'll clap. Convert to raid. Dude, I just started inviting everybody, yeah. That's... We can have 24, right? Yes, yeah. sir. Oh, we've got a lot of people hanging out. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah, this, this is. is pretty cool. cool. I didn't expect them to meet us here. Oh, they're all declining to join us. Aww. Oh, that's sad. Oh. Somebody just slapped you. <laughs> they don't want to... yeah. <laughs> they're laughing. <laughs> Here's Eric going for him, man. <laughs> he just cried oh, and God. stormed off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my yeah. gosh. That's how I deal oh, with things. Yeah. <laughs> this, game is, this game is amazing, dude. So many good stuff. Oh, hey, shout out to Middle Earth Storytime hanging out in the chat. Hey. Make some awesome illustrations. Yes. So, yeah, what do you think of, of these kind of depictions, Matt? Here's Boromir over here. Oh, where's Boromir? Oh, there's Boromir. Uh, I think they're pretty cool. I don't yeah, he's got his horn feel, on him. It's not huge, but I feel like he should be a little bigger, maybe. Like you, yeah, you look, that. you look more muscular than Boromir does, Yoiston. Yeah. I, oh, sorry. I turn up my my. You work out. To be very I get buff. it. Yeah. yeah. He likes <laughs> to be a very muscular. Protein. <laughs> yeah. Got to be able to lift all those books. <laughs> <laughs> I I worked at Barnes Noble for a while, so I actually I joke, but. I mean, that's <laughs> when you're lifting 20 books, you're just like moving them. It's like, oh my god, oh yeah. Now, did they so Aragorn does look clean shaven here, but or yeah. does he? Uh, he's got I mean, some he's stubble, got little... he's got he's some got stubble, yeah. I feel like I... ever since Nature of Middle Earth came out, they should like remove that, you know. No, oh, man, I. I don't know. I just I reject that in my head. Canon. <laughs> it was never officially canonized. Can't so I you can't it. can't handle it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I mean, like, Prince Imrahil not having a beard? Fine. You know, that's okay. But, like, yeah. everybody of Elvish descendants? Like, Girdan has a beard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's literally an elf. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. I think it's kind of cool how Tolkien left some stuff to be, like, interpreted. You know, just Absolutely. a little bit here and there. I, I like I, that, too. I, I mean, dancing like... Numenorean bears? I'm on board. Do... <laughs> I'm 100% on board. But... <laughs> can, you, can your bear dance? Can you make nerd Iron Shield? Uh, Oh my I wish you can. I love it how you took Matt's first and my last name on my character just <laughs> <Yeah>. together. <laughs> um, let me see. I, oh, I can't spar. I'm not on my main. Game. Nah, he he he's not of the dancing Numenorean variety, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, All right, shall we get Matt to uh, level ten? Uh, yes. Oh yeah. So can I teleport us back to Bree and then? Um. And then I switch probably back, the or? Shire is probably going to be our. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, right. everything's red for us and Bree. Everything's right. like kind of. Or are level. we going to go to Thorin's Hall and go to? Well, I guess we'd have to continue from. We might have to do two low quests. Let's go to Shire. Okay. Yeah, let's Shire it up. 
Shire is fun. It's fun to look around. So we're gonna go Michael Delving. Woo, so do woo. you? This is me looking are, for the path. Are you artificially making yourself bow down, or does that is that part of the, your move to make us that's teleport? The that's, oh, yeah, okay. that's the animation. Oh, okay. I'm just a troll, and I spin while I do it. <laughs> gotcha. I was wondering. I was didn't know if that was yeah, just your theatricality or if that was part of the <laughs> actual game. No, yeah, that's the actual game. All right, so I'm gonna. I'll come over here real quick on my guy to level up with you guys, and uh, boop. So you guys can. I will be right back. Okay. That's good. Putting on the ring of power again. What is this bound to have for us? Someone. Uh, so Wancho wants to know if any of us. So I think he'll he'll be fine with any of us doing a video on Italian. He just really wants a video on Italian. Have you ever I done one? Like, no, I I can't bring myself to. <laughs> it's really hard, man. Yeah. Like, the uh, uh, I, I the canon really well. the canon nerd in you is like, oh, but he's not real. Exactly. <laughs> it's just it's a is struggle, that, man. Oh. Is that the guy who's gonna be in the new series? No, that's or, that's yeah. from the Shadow of Mordor game. Oh. The main guy. Oh, yeah. Okay. What do you think, Matt? I think you, I don't. I I could on? see doing it. I wouldn't do it as like my regular Saturday release, but I could sure. do like an extra, you know. I could see. Yeah. Ma maybe. I, you know, that, yeah. Maybe embark it before oh. I embark on a a playthrough of Shadow of War or something. Yeah, the main character. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what you're I talking mean, about. It's it's interesting because it's like the similar sort of conundrum with Haldir making a video on Haldir. It's like I want to make one on him and his brothers, but I don't want it to be thirty seconds long. You know, like because from the mm. movies, it's like yeah, oh he he must do a lot, and and in the movies he kind of does, but man, it's a it's, yeah. it's something I always struggle with. So I won't say no, like mm -hmm. to never doing Italian video. I just like like you say, it's like I'd have to put a huge disclaimer at the beginning. This is not canon. This is just for like the fandom for yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, but if you make it really clear for the first 10 seconds of the video, I don't think it's a problem. True. You're like, it's not canon, guys. This yeah. is fun. <laughs> Anna, Anna Rose, <laughs> Anna Rose in my in my chat said I should do it on April 1st. <laughs> so that, it's is <laughs> that is hype. That yeah. would be good. I would, that would be fun. I would enjoy watching that. Oh, man. I, was, I, I love that my... How many Tolkien YouTubers can we have in one Latria live stream? It's like, right? I I love the idea. Half of them are asleep, though. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. We'd have to do it earlier yeah, in the day for a us. Lot of, a lot of people are on in Europe, right? Huh? Yeah. Mm. Or, or yeah, okay. And we're because I'm on the yeah. East Coast. You're on the East Coast, right, Matt? So yeah, yeah. I'm Eastern time. So I'm like I'm like closing down. You know, we're we're kind of like the tail end of the Tolkien Reading Day celebrations. I feel yeah. like yeah, we're yeah. like the last people in the bar, just like. <laughs> closing it down Basically. we're gonna get you level 10 before we close yeah if you yeah wanna, uh talk to this bounder here grab both of those quests this All guy right. i don't know if you could uh Wait. i didn't add you as a friend i'm almost there <laughs> um <laughs> you might have already actually done it so I, don't think I think i might have yeah because it's it says we really need your help friend thank you but i click on him and it doesn't do anything Oh, hold on. Let me let me. So you're a bike. bounder now. That's good. Where'd you guys? Yeah, the raid. Um, the raid was kind of throwing me off. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And then I'll just invite yeah. everybody else around us. Come on, people. So Our we friends. Doing this here? All right. From Sweet. the Shire to Breland, or well, that's well, gosh, we should have that later. Join no, the. That's okay. Um, I'll try to figure out what Matt has. Does not. Polo Brock House? I, I haven't done I mean, this. I, I doubt he's done any of the stuff in... Um, I'm just thinking if we go to Erlewin, can you go straight to no Nogalong and do quests there? Yeah, I think so. Actually, yeah. I mean... Just you, go to are, that. That's the right level. Are there any quests up here, Matt, for you? Um, so this is the area where I did a bunch. Um, oh, okay. It, it would be blue if I haven't done it, right? Or no? Um, if it's in progress, it's blue. Oh, okay. And then you might have it in your. I mean, so already. yeah, so it looks like there's options. Maybe let me click on. Thank you, Castle of the Rings, for hanging out. Oh no. Yeah, I mean, we can head to Arid Moon. Do yeah, let's. Else. Yeah, I know I haven't done anything there. I'm pretty sure. All right, let's do it. I that's on, well, I'm not a dwarf, but it's my favorite place. <laughs> <laughs> I love questing there. I like the quests. One of I my just... favorite places is uh, is Even Dim. 
in this game. Oh. I, I love the atmosphere of the Ditto. Fallen Kingdom. Anubis. Oh, yeah. The lake's just so pretty. <sighs> it is. I wish the it music wasn't right now, because then we could bring him over and show him real quick. But yeah. We always do that. We can do another stream. There's always another. Absolutely. <laughs> so I will uh for um well for anyone really that might be interested. So I will be interviewing uh one of the lore masters from Lotro next week. Ooh, oh really? Yeah. That's awesome. So if you've got cool. questions that you want to ask one of their lore masters, let me that know. That is fantastic. Um, that is awesome. Yeah, I'll try to think of something. Where where am I traveling to? Uh, Thorns, uh, Gate. Thorns Gate. Thorns Gate. Okay, got it. I'll head down, down to Noglon. Yeah, so I think that's I think that's happening on Tuesday. We might make it a live stream. Um, oh, awesome! We're kind of debating. Cool. Um, I've done a lot of pre-record ones lately, but I like the idea of a live stream for something like this, where <clears throat> where we could get a lot of uh, fan questions in. So that, yeah, that would that be is so cool. I know, Matt. You're always interviewing everyone else. We need to get to know about you. Do <laughs> I, I told Matt. Matt Nobody said, cares about me. <laughs> I, I've invited Matt. I'm going to interview Matt someday. He, uh, yeah, we are. I, I was waiting until after I got moved into the new nerd cave yeah, here. I know you've been so busy. Yeah, no, yeah. I totally get. It's totally it's good. been kind of nuts, but yeah, no, we do need to get that on the calendar for sure. Yeah, yeah. I was I, I just just purely fun. I'll think of some questions and send them to you, and we'll do basically what you do with all these awesome people, but we'll do it for you. Cool. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's ask Wood right now for fun. What got you started in Lord of the Rings? Like, what's the first thing you saw of Tolkien? Was it a movie or the books? Or uh, so it was the Fellowship of the Ring film. Oh, um, okay, that was me too. Yeah, my oh, yeah. So my my roommate in college, who was my best friend in high school, um, we moved in freshman year to the dorms, and we made a trip to Walmart to get stuff for our dorm room. And we were like, oh, let's let's buy a couple movies like, you know, uh, to watch back in the dorm room. And um, we came across Fellowship of the Ring and he was like, oh, we need to get this. This this movie's legit. And uh, yeah, yeah. and I was like and my exact words were like, I don't know. That looks kind of stupid was my exact <laughs> words. And uh, oh my God. yeah. And, oh, and he's like, man. he's like, no, man, trust me. Trust me. And so. Yeah. We went back, watched it that night, and like the whole I was just enthralled the entire time. And um, it got to the end and I was like, what the heck? I was like, it just ended. <laughs> I'm like, what? there's no end to this story. And then oh I I like got on got on the Google machine and uh you know, probably I can't really? even remember what like big clunky monitor, you know, showing my age, uh big clunky yeah. monitor computer and I was like, oh, hey. I was like, uh, yeah, so this is, there's three of them, and the next one comes out here in a couple months. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. Oh, my All God. All right. I was wondering what year it was, so 2003 yeah. then? So 2002. Two. Yeah. yeah. My, uh, oh, man. That's, my mom got me to watch them, because when I was younger, I never wanted to watch them, because I thought they were scary, right, when I was, like, six or seven. She's like, no, you've got to watch this watching here. <laughs> and I was like, okay, all right, I'll watch it. And I was just, it was, it was over. I was sucked in. That's awesome. That and Star Wars, Star Wars and Lord of the Rings. Oh, my mom yeah. just like, oh, you've got to watch these. Oh, okay. And then just boom, it was my life. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Now Star Wars, that I, I did start watching. I watched that when I was like six years old or something. And yeah, that was, yeah. but that was like the only fantasy that I was ever really interested in. Um, yeah. 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 Exactly. That's kind of what I started with Star Wars too, about six. But um, wait, where the heck the did you guys go? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I was like, oh crap. Okay. My bad. My bad. Follow me this way. Uh, you uh, shouldn't be following me because I'm following you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I I started playing the saxophone, the alto sax, because of the Cantina in Star Wars. Oh, that's oh, funny. No way. That's awesome. Yeah, that's that's what inspired me to do that, and ever since, orchestra. Yeah, dude, I love the little footprints we leave behind in the snow. Oh, yeah. And they actually stay oh, there for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. That used to be a thing a long time ago. These are all little things they've slowly updated in the game. Wait, so should I kill uh, animals when I see them? Oh, uh, that one just attacked me. So, no. oh, <laughs> so mean, he, had it, he had it coming. Yeah, yeah. So, so we can run around and pick up all the rings in here. 
actually a lot of these quests are killing animals unfortunately yeah. it says wait it says so what master what am i doing do uh, I... all the ones that have rings go ahead and accept them all right around run around and click on oh them and okay them. we're just accepting all of them grab okay. them all yeah uh so anyone watching a lot of these quests are just we're at the small dwarven outpost and they need to be able to survive the winter so <laughs> gonna yeah. help them out so the real, the real, the there was three of, right three uh, yeah three seven. okay cool Near the roads herding cats and cutting the cord so we're just gonna go kill a bunch of animals huh unfortunately yeah. don't tell PETA. no i mean if they if they're attacking <laughs> you know they, they're that's, attacking innocent people that's called self-defense <laughs> yeah exactly and also don't worry guys uh there's a lot we won't we won't put them extinct just what they need yeah <laughs> this is... and then we'll take on those goblins later oh this guy needs our help oh hey oh no he's dying save him oh, oh that goblin's goblin like away. nah what i'm heck? done I'm, I'm... i'll send him a heal what the heck is a crag uh <laughs> it's a blue crag i think it's the location for the yeah isn't a crag like a valley or a cliff or something I yeah I, I should know this oh, i leveled now. up number 10 congrats. yeah, yeah. congrats Remember oh that? man, Remember I didn't that? know you were that close. That's awesome. <laughs> well, I mean, he's dead. That's pretty good. I mean, yeah. I was wondering, like, we were doing this stuff. I was like, why am I not leveling up yet? <laughs> Probably because I don't actually do anything. I just follow you guys around. Yeah, killing. <laughs> if you're in our group, you should get the same XP for killing mobs, though, or creatures. All right, so we got to kill more. The best spot. Oh, here's one right here. Oh, so what do you guys think of? Uh, oh, okay. Like in um, Shadow of Mordor and stuff, the created characters, like the, what is it? The Caragor or whatever that's like yeah, a... They're like the ward cats. Well, they <laughs> yeah. they have those. The Car I think the Caragor is like the big like troll looking thing. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, dude. Those, I, don't I mean, cool. those don't really bother me that much, to be honest, because like... I could see creatures like that being in Nern or right. being in the East. Oh, you know? yeah, so that's, that's true. Cool. Yeah, in Mordor, there's kind of like, kinda all kinds of abominations, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's near um, volcanic, so there's like, you know, even like Galadriel's rogue type person, right? That's like, oh I yeah, feel like okay, fair enough. But where you have shape shifting Shelob, that you know, yeah, right, that was a little much. much. Yeah, that was that was yeah, that was interesting. It's, it's I actually, when she's like a, uh, I don't know, oh. oh she and Sauron had some some thing like a know. romantic yeah like yeah, yeah like, no, I, I, I I chuckled at that pretty yeah. hard actually <laughs> I'm like yeah sure <laughs> get him buyer it's like when, yeah when you read um when you read like Morgoth and Ungoliant it's clear that that there's not anything happening there, right so. yeah yeah you know what I think they were doing? They were trying to one-up the love triangle in The Hobbit. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, no. Doesn't take much <laughs> oh, to no top more. that. Oh, oh man. man. Oh. Again, I'm in the same boat as you, Dirt of the Rings. I like the tar I like Tarliel or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Tarliel is... <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> I don't know. I think, Do you guys think... It, I think some people liked it, but... Do you but... ever think uh, that... A, a romance between a dwarf and an elf throughout all the history of Middle Earth could have ever happened? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't think there's anything besides, like, just Gimli's admiring of Galadriel, right? You're right, yeah. No, I mean, nothing, there's definitely nothing, um, <laughs> canon, but, yeah. Like, there's something, like, is there ever a potential for it, I suppose? Um, I mean, I feel like there's a small chance, but it's, it seems it's very It's really unlikely. small. Right, yeah. Right? Really unlike. I mean, I mean I see, and like, Keely and Feely I'm... are in the films. Like, they don't even really look very dwarvish. Very I mean, they dwarvish, basically yeah. look like short rangers, you know? Yeah, that, that always kind of bothered me, even though I liked their acting. Yeah, I didn't yeah. like how... I Like, I wish uh, Thorin, even though the actor of Thorin is fantastic, he's amazing. But yeah. uh, I wish they would have given him a longer beard slightly. Yeah. I yeah. thought it'd be short. I will say, I mean, like, long... I've looked at some... Like, looking at some of the concept art, like... Uh, it's funny. A lot of them look very similar in the vast majority of the concept art, but there's a Keely and Feely that look totally different. Oh, like, yeah, like they have like, yeah. like these big long blonde beards yeah. and stuff. All right, we talking to this guy? Yeah, checking in. Like, oh, I think a tree almost fell over on him. Oh, that's, like that's a bummer. 
That is Cut bummer. wood, Ogla, when the goblins um, fell on me from the shadow of trees. I don't know. I could see. I could perhaps see when the Gwaithai Myrdine of Regian were close with the dwarves of Moria. I could maybe see. Mm. Okay, y'all. All you need is one, right? You need one elf crafter get with like one dwarf. <laughs> it, it's like it's possible. Okay, so um, here's here's the big question though. What about a female dwarf with a male elf? Yeah, a big, you know? big, a big bearded female dwarf, great big beard with a Legolas looking elf. Yeah, it's a, I don't know. I don't oh, know. Right, yeah, man. right. I don't, I don't know. It's, <laughs> I don't know if I want to think about that too much, Matt. Right. <laughs> That's hilarious. But, um, <laughs> I had someone say in my in our in my chat, uh, virtual com comrade. He says there are no animal protection laws in Arda. <laughs> well, not, not yet, not, not yet. That After we know today. Of. Oh, not we got the warning over here. We're gonna make them. We're oh, there's a there. bear. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a player. A player. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's oh, a he's a bayorning. See how big he is compared to his pet. Wow, yeah. that's cool. Hi, bayorning guy. He's Bayo oh, no, Bear. Like Bayo <laughs> Bear. That's great. It's a good name. Is he hanging out with All us right, or is so it? He looks like he's hanging out with us. Bears are. We have to go over here for the bears. I bears. Think I think the best area to get them. Are they down in that? Oh my yeah, gosh. Down in this valley. Oh. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I, I think we need to go this way, Euston, right over here. Uh, towards oh, this yeah, valley, you're right, you're a bunch right. of bears over here. Oh yeah, by the water. Yep. Or, well, actually, you know what? There are a bunch by the water too, aren't there? Mm, down by the bridge. You know where you do the, the the clearing of the river. Oh yeah. Yeah. But I think there's a lot up there too, so that should work. Oh wow! Well, that, that leveled me up, dude. <laughs> Great, uh, yeah. Congrats. Thank you. Remember how everyone used to say congrats back in the day on this game? Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. Roll chat. That was, the community is so good in this game. It still is. It is. All right. <laughs> this is fun. We got, like, a huge fellowship. Yeah. If we do, like, the yes. raids in the future, like, Dude. that would be so fun. That would be awesome. Dang, <laughs> yeah, this is a huge group for this. Oh, my one. gosh. <laughs> I don't know, these poor bears. All right, we're done. We go chance. back to the right? We get one done. more. <laughs> One more? All right. Sweet. Bayo Bear. Bear. <laughs> Uh-oh. No, don't get Bayo Bear. He's our friend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right. Let's go turn these in. All right. Oh, Bayo Bear leveled up. Nice job, Bayo nice. Bear. Nice. Nice. Sir. Oh, he even leaves big old bear footprints. Yeah, it's oh, pretty that's cool. Awesome. That's cool. There's so many. Like, look for right here. If you guys, I don't know how high your graphics are. But look at the shadow from the moon on this snow with the tree. Like, you see the shadows on the ground? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool, dude. There's so much stuff in this game that's like, it's so great. it seems a lot better for that it is for its age. You know, like, it looks so yeah. good. Okay, yeah. don't fall off the cliff, guys. Go around here. There's a way to get down without dying. Uh, if you go the over here, you're just you, going for it. <laughs> you can jump down right here without killing yourself along this little path. Whoop. Oh, <laughs> heard that. I heard that. Crunch. <laughs> Crunch. Oh. Everyone's legs are breaking. It's horrible. <laughs> all right. All right. Don't worry. Just did all your work for you. Wait. Why am uh -oh. I not? I'm not uh -oh. moving. Uh oh. Uh, no, I'm not moving either. I know. Oh, 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 we're good. We're good. We're oh, there we go. Little, oh. little server <laughs> lag there. <laughs> Too like... many people killing bears. <laughs> yeah. We ran out of bears. <laughs> The game had to respawn bears real quick. <laughs> uh, All right, make sure it. you choose the right level of armor. I think you pick heavy, uh, Nerd of the Rings. Oh. Because you're uh, a champion. Heavy? You get the pick heavy, heavy armor. Heavy armor? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. And then if you want to wear it, you can go in your inventory and right-click and switch if it's better than the stuff you got. Okay. Looks like it oh, is. Oh yeah, so many fond memories here. It's so such a good game. Oh, yeah, I, we have another huh. feathered nuisance. Okay, dude, let's we're see. gonna like 
Lotro's gonna have to dedicate a server to us, so we start doing live streams all the time. We're gonna right. have so many people. <laughs> we're gonna do full raids. Let's go take down the. I was able to do the um the rift the other day. Uh, you did. Oh with... yeah. Wait, did you solo I just... it? I, I did with yeah. I just got on Zalin my one thirty five, and I was like, and I had a couple people come join me because you need multiple people to click things. So oh, I just yeah. asked a couple people on the server, and I got like four people to come hop in, and it's pretty fun. I mean, yeah, it's always that last part that's, like, so hard. I think, like, a Warden yeah. could solo, like, the whole we, thing. But... We killed the Belrog so fast, though, because he doesn't <laughs> scale up. I know. Like, he isn't scaling, so, like, we went to, like, fight him, and he just died. And we were like, oh. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> so, well, that's bad. Ooh, someone got the goblin fetish. Huh. Did we accept the next quest? It looks like we're oh, yeah. all. So wait, did did you accept the next quest from the grocer guy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like people. Do... Okay, you need to get it in order to the race. Yep. There's actually a way I, yeah, can I got look. It. And... Wait, sweet. Okay. One other person can grab it too. All right. Where are, you... where are you guys at? Oh, there's Yoiston. Oh. Okay. Did you get the quest, Yoiston? I did. Yeah. Nice. Did. Kind of a cool little thing they added in the quest tracker. I can actually look who does and doesn't have it. Nice. They added that a few years back. It was fantastic for things like this. <laughs> yeah, it is nice. I always forget about that feature. Yeah, it's really cool. All right, so we just kill those birds. So look for birds. Let me see. If you guys had to be uh, some kind of adventurer in Middle Earth, what what class would you be? I, I, even like what race as well. But what what would be your <laughs> weapon of choice? Hmm. I've seen so many times where. <laughs> It says, I get to something and it says your target's already dead. Oh, yeah. No, it's good. Like, uh, I'll take the XP. It's good. Thank goodness it shares the quest now. Right? Oh, my gosh. You have to, like, sit and wait. It was the worst. All right. Where's all these birds? Yeah, I, um, my favorite. I don't know. I think I, like, I, yeah, it's hard I think... because. I, think I even mean, it, like, work. outside of just the normal classes. I, I'd even mean, like, um, in Middle-Earth, with what you've seen people do uh, mm. in the Silmarillion or anything like that, like, how would you go about defeating orcs, that sort of thing? Oh, man. Yeah. Dude, I think runekeepers aren't in the lore of reality, but that would be fun to shoot. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I don't know where Galadriel gets her power from to destroy Dol Guldor, but I'm, I'm in it, man. I, I'm <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I, w I wouldn't know if I wanted to be a dwarf or an elf, because, like, well, come on, realistically, the immortality would be pretty cool, but at the same time, it's a curse, right? <laughs> yeah. It's a curse, yeah. but, like, yeah. It's not, it's not the gift, like the gift of man. Yeah. That's a, I find that so interesting that Tolkien yeah. played that out like that. It's a good point, but... Yeah. Because there would be something kind of sad about that, and everyone just is leaving, and you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, it would be too hard to be an elf. We get that with our pets, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> it makes us feel like that. We get a little bit of that sense. <laughs> Wait, are, um, I thought we were supposed to be killing birds. We're supposed to be killing birds. I'm trying to oh, remember. I think we're just I'll wiping out everything and <laughs> We're just. <laughs> okay, there will not be a living a thing in this valley. <laughs> I know. I, I think we got to enact something here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, I got uh, one up three. here. Up this hill. We're up to three. I got some up this hill. Wait, which Wait, hill? I think the the ranger. Uh, I went the opposite way of you guys, but oh, that's okay. all right. Just let's um, see. If there's I think an the ranger looking. aesthetic would be fun. Oh, like, yeah, you have you have some skill with a bow, but mostly you're a sword guy. Yeah. Um, that and like yeah, I mean you get to go hang out with the elves from time to time, but go hike in the wild and fight orcs. That's mm -hmm. that's yeah. the vibe. Well, yeah, there's nothing up here. Oh. Huh. There, I was. I thought there would be birds up there, but there's not. Maybe around the corner in that valley. Like where you do that quest for the chapter. I think there might be some birds there. Or they probably respawned back where we were, honestly. All right, all right. Yeah, I, uh, so if I'm basing it off of like playing video games and stuff, um, mm -hmm. I usually go for ranged weapons Ooh. because I don't, uh, like I, I mentioned before how I, I have a tendency to, um, you know, not read the instructions. <laughs> like I also, <laughs> also have a tendency to not like learn all the button combinations <laughs> or stuff, more of a button masher. And so like, 
ranged weapons are a little more like like okay i do this this okay and then i go and i i sneak around and i pick people off from a distance well here's one over here interesting okay yeah so you would be uh you'd be very much like a uh, bilbo with a bow sort of <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah bilbo with a bow that's great all right i still need six more i still need eight more okay all right Yikes. let's go this way this okay way. They're, they're respawning let's go over here okay i think right, i killed man, two I'm, I'm lost too <laughs> i can't find anything yeah, I would come back over towards the goblin. Come place, here, you so. stupid bird. Get it. I thought she got yeah. this bird. Get the bird. Get... <laughs> yeah. Someone in the chat says hammers. It's all about the hammers. So I imagine they'd be a dwarf of like the Iron Hills. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's another one over here. Yeah, dude, hammers are pretty cool. It's like swords are so like in real life. If we're talking more like real life, it's so like more easy to wield a sword or like a spear. Yeah. From like a safer like i feel like axes and hammers you really have to you know get dirty yeah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what i mean that's a that's war but you know it's a little no, safer to just see you know, abs, abs. the bludgeoning <laughs> yeah now, i feel like right. having the skills of like elrond <laughs> who being a being a renowned healer could be really, mm, yeah. really quite nice yeah that's cool Dude, Kirdan, dude, just like I love that Kirdan just like Build leads ships. everybody. And just, yeah, it just yeah. it's cool. He's just kind of like there to support everybody. <laughs> yeah, Kirdan, Kirdan is like one of my favorite elves. He's right behind yeah. Finrod for for my favorites. Oh, right Finrod's there. a good one. Yeah, I had a good one from my comments here. They were saying, I wonder. This is from uh, Comrade again. He said that I wonder if how Tolkien's thoughts on Lord of the Rings Online would be this game, like, you know what I'm saying? Like that would be that's an interesting. Like, like if he if, would like this game, or yeah, I think it was like amazing that his game was put to. Ah. I mean, his work was put into a, like a virtual world to explore, or you know I, what I think, mean? Like, yeah, I think Tolkien would like parts of this. Like, I think I think he would probably think people. He'd probably be the classic, you know, like older gentleman like that is like why yeah. are you taking all this time to do that <laughs> yeah. yeah that's kind of my impression of it too he, he'd be a little sarcastic about it <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. love the guy i would think it was cool but not want to play it himself <laughs> yeah. I, 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 that's also how i feel like he would feel about the peter jackson movies where it's like well mm. you could just read the books and the books i are... just got myself stuck in a little cage that i cannot get out of a cage. But I think seeing like the I Balrog. Can't get out. I fell in here. Oh. Let me... oh no. Oh no. And, and Matt, oh, I'm out. sorry. There you the, go. The Balrogs in this game have wings. Oh, of I course know, they do. They, well, they based <laughs> off the movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but I think he like seeing things like that put to screen, like whether in a movie or a game. Is that a really firework? Really yeah. That... Yeah. Did it go I off? Got, hard? I got a. I got an eagle. I think here. Where's my? My fireworks. Oh, there's one. Maybe I don't have a firework. I have this. I have a pinwheel firework. Oh, there it White goes. Tree. Yay. Dude, I got a little pinwheel firework. Here it goes. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, this game is super fun to literally just chill and talk in. Like, it is. Sure. Yeah, it's definitely one I of the most like... relaxing games out yeah. there. What do you guys think of if they could implement like vr to this game oh, like i've never be really legit it. man but i feel like if they could implement it where it didn't look bad and like actually like you could see a bigger range of view yeah like that would be really fun because a lot oh of people just play the VR thing to talk with people right mm -hmm. and like like that'd be so cool to be able to quest together in that way yeah this is already fun but yeah that would be um, a cool thing if they did a new lord of the rings game actually <laughs> Make it where it was implemented with VR, so you could explore the world from like that, looking around. Yeah, the problem would be getting people to actually put put down the VR. It'd be an e epidemic of people oh that my are just gosh. lost in VR. I know that is always something I worry about. Yeah, because I don't like... want to leave Middle Earth, but no. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh man, that would be crazy. I know I got a curved screen to play this game, like one of the curved ones. Oh, but I always yeah. thought those curved screens were a gimmick. But oh yeah. Honestly, like, like, when it's I started pretty legit. Playing, yeah it actually felt more a little bit more immersive mm -hmm. and i i didn't uh, think that would be a thing and it, it, it was so it's very interesting 
You're gonna talk me into getting getting one. Huh? <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll link you my favorite now. The screen I got was pretty good price. It's a it's a 32 inch curved screen. So. Okay. Oh, that's that's what I'm on right now too. Oh, nice. Is that MSI or is it? Oyston, you've got to join us. It's oh, an oh. it's an Asus. Oh, oh, nice, Asus. nice. That's a good one. Yeah. Join us. Yeah. Hearing the voices of the the dead. <laughs> oh man all righty well we're about, Sweet. about two yeah. hours in that was fun matt i know you have yeah. plans in a little bit so yeah we can have well one more time i'll say for anyone interested uh we are doing uh in honor of tolkien reading day a lot of the other tolkien youtubers in addition to Yoisin and myself and Zalin here um, have put out some awesome videos, so be sure to check those out in your YouTube wanderings. Um, and we're also doing uh, supporting a charity again this year. Um, this year it is Save the Children, and they help uh, kids who are in rough situations all around the world and very dangerous, perilous situations. So a lot of their work right now is in the Ukraine, and uh, that is our, our chosen fundraiser for this year. Um, very cool. So thank yeah, you to right. everyone who has donated, and uh, if you'd like to, to donate, you can do so. On the, I think Yoisten and I both have that set up mm -hmm. on these videos, um, and or you can just go to the website. A lot of people have just gone to the website as well. So. Yeah, thank awesome. you guys so much for being here, for joining us. Uh, Matt from Nerd yeah. of the Rings and Zalin from Voice of the Rings. Go check them out and subscribe if you're if you're not already. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for being here. Happy Tolkien Reading Day. Matt, Zalin, yeah. thank you so much. Uh, this is a blast. Yeah, this is I fun. Agree. We'll definitely have to do this again soon. Absolutely. Oh, definitely. Oh, thank you for having me, you guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to be right. it. So well, I'm going to go ahead and end my stream here. So, yeah. All righty. My friends, thanks for joining us on this adventure. Until the next one. Yes. Have a wonderful day in Middle Earth. All right, there we go. I turned off mine.